Yolanda set to Swick 2, and you could see that, uh, just for kicks and giggles, I'm practicing our lines. Negative 2, the y-intercept, which I can't circle if I don't press that button, with a slope of 3, up 3, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3, over 1, and there's the cool line through the points. Always remember positive slopes go up to the right, negative slopes go down to the right. That'll help you. All right, so graphing more of these uh, piecewise functions. Whoa, don't move the camera. Um, probably getting really tired of doing these kind of things, uh, but uh, you should be getting pretty good at it now. Zero is, uh, I always give you the one that you start with, and then uh, something smaller than that. And then when I take these numbers and plug them in here, I get seven and four, okay? Uh, on the next part, I plug in the number 0 and something bigger than that. I want you to notice that I chose 2, not 1. Why did I do that? Well, what I noticed was I was going to be plugging these numbers into here. And the first thing you do is you take half of the number that you plug in. So I picked an even number because I knew if you took an even number and cut it in half, that would make a nice integer value. Now, it doesn't mean you can't use decimals. Okay, it'll work. So plugging in 0, I get 2. Plugging in 2, I get half of 2 is 1, plus 2 is 3. Okay, so those are the points I can graph. Uh, maybe we should just try to graph it on our own, you know, without using the multiple choice. Maybe that would be uh, a better stretch of your knowledge. So, 0, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That has to be a closed dot, right? Sorry, not a bad, not a good job. And then negative 1, 4, negative 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, through that point right there. So we have to have something that does this. And then 0, 2, that has to be an open circle. And then 2, 3, 1, 2, and then up 3 puts me here. And so that's what I got to have. That's the picture I'm looking for. Let's see which one matches. Um, I'm thinking that letter D is the one we want. Letter D. Yep, that one matches. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, so uh, I chose zero, something smaller, plug them in. Um, zero, that zero gives me nine, negative one gives me ten. Um, zero and something bigger, I plug those in, and zero gives me negative four, and one gives me five minus four is one. So on my graph, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And ten will eventually get there. That's kind of funny since negative ten is on the other graph. Never mind. So zero, nine, and we know that's going to be an open circle. Zero, nine open circle and negative 110 all right so that's going to be up here so that's going to be the arrow left portion and um zero negative four one two three four that's a closed dot and it has to go through the point one one which is up here so gonna be like this so this is the picture that we're looking for uh, and it's obviously not this because it's got it should have a closed dot there or an open dot right there. And the only one that goes open dot arrow left on this part is letter C. That one can't be it either. So they really narrowed it down pretty quickly for us. All right. Next, uh, so 0 and negative 1, we're going to take these, plug them in here. Uh, 0 gives me 2, negative 1 gives me uh, 12. Plug these two in here, right? 0 gives me negative 2, 1 gives me 0, okay? So, uh, let's see what kind of picture that's going to create. Zero, 02 is my open circle. 
and negative 1, 12. Whoa. Uh, so, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's got to go through that point right there. That's pretty doggone steep to the left. Okay, and 0, negative 2 is going to be my my closed circle going through the point 1, 0 right there. So, so which one of those is the correct picture? Um, can't be that one. That one's got a closed dot in the wrong spot. And it can't be that one. So it has to be choice C again. Yep. Now, their scale must be throwing me off. That doesn't look exactly like I want it to look. Am I missing something? Zero, negative two goes through one zero. It doesn't quite look like the slope matches correctly on on that choice either. I don't like that. Okay, so just uh, use the graph here uh, to come up with the domain and range of this particular function. Remember, we talked about pushing all the points onto the x-axis, and it looks like, you know, since these things go out forever and ever and ever, it looks like you're going to have all reals. Now, the only one that gets rid of is this choice right here, because you can see that they have a split domain. They are skipping over zero. But I can clearly see there's a coordinate right there on the y-axis. So answer choice C is not a very good one. Um, now, I'm going to erase that stuff so I can see a little bit better on my picture. Uh, and we'll pick a different color here. Because if we start looking at range, and we're pushing all the points forever and ever and ever, it looks like we're going to have that open circle being the highest value and everything below. Remember we said negative infinities down here, and it looks like we're maxing out at negative 3. So we're looking for something that goes from negative infinity to negative 3. We cannot, as you can see, this one would include, right? It's got that bracket on it, so it would include negative 3, and clearly we see an open circle there. So I think our answer choice is choice B, because it does not include that negative 3. Always keep in mind, the parenthesis does not include, but the bracket does include. Whew. Man, this is a heavy-duty week on some stuff. Use the graph to determine the domain and range of the function. All right, so looks like if you uh, start pushing everything on the x-axis, you're going to get negative infinity to infinity. So that'll get rid of choice B. And it looks like it has a closed bracket at negative 6. And it goes up from there forever and ever and ever. So, you know, to positive infinity. So we want to go from negative 6 to infinity on the range. So there is your answer choice. And that would be it for this particular SWIC. And we'll see you later.